angle, pressure, disc, optic nerve, death, pain. Glaucoma is confusing, so let's talk about it. If you haven't seen the video on the aqueous humor flow yet, then I suggest you go check that one out. I'll put it right here in the corner because it's gonna make this video a lot easier. Okay, so what is glaucoma? Increase in intraocular pressure, right? Right? No, don't say that. The most basic definition of glaucoma is death of the optic nerve with characteristic cupping. So what is cupping? Every image they show you is like this. And they say, this is cupping and this is normal. Now memorize that and leave me alone. Like, okay, fine, I'll just take the L on that one, but you don't have to. Check this out. I didn't even learn this until after I took step, but I really wish I would have. If you look at the optic discs from a lateral view, so just from the side profile, this is normal and this is cupping. It's an indentation in the optic nerve in the disc because it's dying. And when it indents, it looks like a cup, so they call it cupping. Like, how did I not know? Who did not teach me that? Anyway, I literally had my mind completely blown when I heard that for the first time, or when I realized that that's what cupping was. And I had to literally just sit there and take a minute to process what just happened. So I hope that that's helpful because it definitely was for me. Okay, now that you know what cupping is, we need to talk about two different types of glaucoma. So you have open angle and closed angle. And we'll start with open. Do you remember the angle of the eye? This thing right here, this angle? Well, that's the angle that the glaucomas are talking about. And open means that angle stays open and does not get blocked off. And closed means that whole angle gets closed. So what can cause open angle glaucoma? Well, basically it's anything that can block the trabecular meshwork or clog it up. So if you have the anterior chamber, you have the trabecular meshwork, then you have the canal of Schlem. If you have anything blocking the trabecular meshwork, like some white blood cells from an infection, some red blood cells, any miscellaneous parts of the retina, if you had any retinal trauma, then aqueous humor can't get through that trabecular meshwork and then it builds up in the eye and builds up the pressure. And is it painful? No, not really, not usually. And who gets it? Older people, the black population, and people with family history. Boom, now you know open angle glaucoma. Next, closed angle, closed angle glaucoma. So this happens when you close that angle of the eye. And this gets broken up into two different categories. You got primary versus secondary and acute versus chronic. Primary happens generally when the lens gets bigger or moves forward. And either of these situations can move the iris forward, which is gonna close off that angle, block the flow of aqueous humor, and then cause angle closure glaucoma. Secondary happens when you have a hypoxia situation in the eye. So you have low oxygen, so you wanna get more blood vessels through. So that hypoxia causes vasoproliferation in the iris, which contracts the angle and again causes angle closure glaucoma. Now acute versus chronic. And chronic happens over a long period of time and it's not the most high yield thing for glaucoma, but when it does happen, it can be asymptomatic or it can cause peripheral vision loss. But acute, acute is a legit emergency. And like 95, probably like 99% of the questions you're gonna get on step one about glaucoma is gonna be this. And this happens when the angle closes very abruptly and it's very painful, you get a red eye, you get a headache, you get nausea, vomiting, and you get a fixed mid dilated pupil. And that's pretty much a buzzword. And things you'll generally see this with are with pupil dilating medications, which is pretty much anything that has an anti-muscarinic property like atropine, tricyclic antidepressants, or antihistamines. So stuff like that. One other thing just to keep in the back of your head is just to recognize whenever a question stem says a patient sees halos around lights. And that's not a for sure thing, but when you see that, at least think of glaucoma. Then one more thing real quick is just treatments. So you're gonna use prostaglandin agonist, beta blockers, carbonic anhydrase inhibitors, and alpha-2 agonists. There are surgical treatments, but that's out of the scope of this, and you don't really need it for step one. All right, that's it. Check the description for a PDF on all this info, and then some Anki cars to go with it. See you next time.